Hi guys, welcome back to Coffee, Jewelry, and Jokes. My name is Jen, and this is part two of Shop Goodwill Lot number 25. However, what you're looking at on the table is not part of the lot. These are just some pieces that I'm going through at the moment, researching, and some are listed, but I thought I'd show you because I have some really interesting pieces here. So I'll just let you see. I have some really nice ones, like I said. Here's some more. Pretty neat. Anyway, let me show you this one. This is awesome. So I got this earring out of a Shop Goodwill lot and it was vintage jewelry, mostly single earrings and a few brooches, but most of them had something missing. This one did not. Well, it's missing the other earring, but look, this is 14 karat gold and it has sapphires. I did test them and they did test as sapphires. So that's a beautiful one. Plus it's pretty large. Oh, it also has pearls, obviously. Um, I have this one, this is sterling. I love this bracelet. And I do have this one listed on eBay. And this is gorgeous. This is like my favorite. So this is sterling. It has a really old coin. There it is. It has a Baroque pearl, another pearl here, coin pearl, and some stones. And I love the chain. It's a chunky chain, but it's not too large. I love this clasp as well. So that one's gorgeous. Uh, what else? Oh, I also have this. I got this ring at the Goodwill bins. It was in a little box just laying in the bin with some other jewelry. And I tested these stones. And as far as I know, they're diamonds. They were testing in the diamond range. And this band tested as 14 karat gold, even though I cannot find a mark. So I'd really have to take this one to a jeweler because I would like to find out for sure if that is what I have. But anyway, here's some other pieces. This is so cute. This is just a little clover and resin. I love that one though. So here's some more. This is beautiful right here. This one does test as sterling, although I cannot find a mark. And the black circle part here, I'm pretty sure is onyx as well as these ends. This stone here is just testing in the glass range though. So could be a crystal, but this jewelry is really nice. This is 14 karat gold. Well, the clasp is, but it's broken. So that's sad. So anyway, here is the jewelry, but I will get into the video. And I hope you liked looking at this stuff. I have so much more where this came from. I have bins and bins filled with jewelry. So, oh, I have this one too. This is Trafari, and I have that listed as well. And then I have these listed, but I'm just not sure about these yet. I have to do a little more research. They're really cute though. So anyway, I hope you like that. And in a second, you'll be watching part two. All right, I'll get into it. There's a little purple bangle. It's going in the box. Got two earrings here. They're cute. They look happy, don't they? They're neat. Oh my gosh, I gotta stop saying neat. They're like a buttery cream color. 
And they look old. Look at these backs. These are old. Wow, I wonder when these were made. Maybe 40s or 50s? They look really old. I thought I saw something around the edge here. And there's nothing on the back. Nothing there. Let me just check this one. Check inside. Oh wait, is there something in there? Oh wait, there might be something guys, hold on. Now I have to find my loot. Oh, I got it. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking. Um, yeah, I don't see anything. These really do look old though. So they are really interesting. I'm going to have to do a little research on those. I like them. All right, then we have this. Luck. Lucky brand. Okay, there's some wear on the back. This is just a brown, like, rope. Rope string. Um, has a little peace sign. Silver tone clasp. And the front's all right. It's rustic. It looks rustic. It's pretty cool though. Even though the back has a little bit of tone loss. The lock is mostly good. You can see a little bit of copper coming through there. But it kind of looks like it's supposed to be like that. Because Lucky Brand is really rustic. You know? That's how I'm looking at it anyway. So, that's a neat one. I don't know about a price. Okay. Oh, look at this one. This is cool. This is hand carved. You can tell. I wonder what kind of wood that is. That's neat. Sometimes these bangles can be worth money, these wooden ones. You just never know. And that's pretty thick. There's no mark inside. I don't know, I have to figure out what kind of wood that is. That's a neat one. All right, I'm going to pull some more out. I don't have that much more, guys. Getting down to the bottom of the bag, and I'm so sad. Because I don't have another lot yet. All right. Next, we have this. So, it is a little seed bead bracelet with a rainbow, a smiley face, a heart, and I don't know, is that an eye? It's kind of cute. Very simple. This adjusts in the back. It's kind of fun. I don't know. I'd say $2 for that one. All right, this one's cute, little turtles and pink stones. I don't know if they're glass. Let me check them. They're cold. Why is the needle not moving? So they're not that cold. Okay, they just feel cold. They're acrylic. But the little turtles are cute and they have some enamel paint. Pretty cute. Little pink turtles. 
or silver tone turtles with pink. That's a cute little bracelet. Stretch is good. Uh, I'd say five for that. It's a fun bracelet. All right, then we have this one. Okay, so this one kind of reminds me of a paparazzi piece again, but I don't know if it is. That's a cool pendant. And it is very cold, so it is a stone. And it's probably dyed halite. It goes above glass. That is really neat, actually. I don't know, guys. Has anyone seen this pendant before? I kind of like it. And you could change the chain out if you wanted a better chain. But that's a neat one. I don't know, I'll have to research that, see if I can find it, see if it's paparazzi, because I do not know. All right, then there's this, this is cute. So this is one of those magnetic bracelets. And you know, it's funny, I had never seen these until a few boxes ago. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Just go around my wrist. Um, but anyway, yeah, I saw one of these a few boxes ago and that was the first time. So, it's not wrapped too well, <laughs> but I'm not either. It's kind of cute. So it has hematite, I guess that's hematite, and I don't know if these are faux pearls, probably glass. And these are most likely glass. So I'm gonna check them. Actually, they're acrylic. I was wrong. They, I thought they were glass. I don't know. It's cute though. So if anyone wants this one, I can do that for five. All right, then we have this one. So this looks like the other one. Same kind of stone. And it's probably halite. Dyed halite. Yeah, wait a minute. going just above glass and it's cold. So, could that be a paparazzi? Again, I do not know. That one's fun. All right, this is pretty. I like this button. There's a button on the back. Hold on, see if I can get it clear. Come on. There it is. That looks like brass. That is a pretty bracelet. And these look like glass. Or feel like glass, not look like glass. Yeah, they're glass. This is pretty. These are a purple color. Very soft. So it's purple and black. I'm wondering if that's a brand because I've seen this button before or one like that on a bracelet like this. This is pretty in my opinion. So I'm gonna have to see if I can find something like that. I don't know what these would sell for. I mean, I don't think it's a whole lot, but that is pretty. All right, then we have this one. And these are cold. So, 
Probably halite. Maybe. No, actually, these are only going to glass. Okay, so these are glass beads. Little silver tone pieces. The stretch is not good, so this is going in the box for a dollar. All right, and I have this. And it has a little flower. It's just on a cord with these beads. And I'm assuming they're glass. Yeah, these are glass. It's a cute little necklace. Oh, and it has this little bead. That's cute. And it just has this hook. Or clip. Um, I'll just put that in the box for a dollar. And then I have this bracelet. This is worn, but it says BCB Generation. I've heard of that before. So, the band is okay, I just need to wipe that off. That looks like it'll come off. And then it says Fierce. I have to look up BCBG, or BCB Generation. So there's a little wear there and there, so I don't know if anybody would even want this. But, I've heard of that brand. All right, then I have these two leaf earrings. And they have these little gold tone pieces. I'll just put these in the box for a dollar. All right, guys. So, we are back where we were in the beginning. When I was showing you some jewelry that I had in containers. And some that was on the table. Okay, so I reviewed my video. And I had to cut some parts out because I wasn't satisfied with what I was saying. So, I will show you these pieces. These were the pieces that were originally in the video, but I cut all the parts out where these pieces were. And it's just because I either took a really long time or I just didn't sound right. So, I'm very critical with myself, but I like to get it right. Not that I always do. I know you're probably saying, oh wait, she doesn't. She doesn't get it right. But I always say, you know more than someone and you know less than someone always at all times. So if I am jewelry challenged ever, just remember, don't discriminate against the jewelry challenged because we all need our time in the sun, right? Okay. So, I'm going to show you something here. This is a bead necklace. It has these brown pieces that I initially thought could be amber, but I was wrong. So, look at these. It's kind of cute, though. Okay. It's not big. Um... I'll measure it. It's just uh, plastic beads and then the faux amber pieces. It's about 16 inches. It's kind of cute. So, if anybody likes this one, I can do it. Four or five. Five dollars. Five dollars and this. Nice little necklace can be yours. And everybody will think that you have amber. Not everybody. Some people. Well, some people won't even know because they don't even know what amber is. But, there's that. Alright. I have these earrings. These are cute. They're light pink. Very pale. And they have gold tone wires. So, wire hooks. Um, and they are resin. I think they're really cute. 
So I can do those four or five. All right, then I have this one. This is cute. These are acrylic and it's silver toned. So these are acrylic rhinestones. Um, and it's mirrored. Now the stretch is not the best. It's really tight. So you can get it on. It's just not going to spring back and it's big on me. But it's all right. It's not bad. <clears throat> so if anyone likes this one, I can do that one for three. All right, then we have this. So this is Mother Pearl. I've gotten a lot of these lately. And anyway, it has like a brass tone inside. And there's the side. I could probably clean this up a little bit. I have not cleaned it. So if anyone likes that one, I can do that for five. All right, then I have these. So these were Amy's. I'm assuming these were bridesmaids gift for her wedding. Oh, I don't know Amy. These were in the box. And they're faux pearls, and I'm assuming rhinestones. Here are the posts. Here, I'll show you the back. So, it looks like they were never worn. Anyway, if you like those, I can do those for two. All right, this is so cute. So this reminds me of crackle glass, but these are acrylic. I love this bracelet. It has these um, big round, like frosty white beads. I have to clean it though. I can clean that. Um, and then these beads that look like crushed ice or crackle glass. They're pretty neat. And these are champagne color. And then it has these silver tone pieces. But watch this. I got to show you this. All right, watch this. It glows. Isn't that neat? So, if you wear it and you go out somewhere, you walk into a room and this will glow. Here, I'll lay it down there. It's harder to see on a light background, but it's pretty neat. So, there's that. All right, what do I have next? Let's see. Let's see what I got. Okay, I have this little daisy seed bead bracelet, and I like this one. Look at it. This one's really happy and fun. And it has this hook. It's a silver tone hook. I kind of like it. Super cute. I really like it. It looks like it was handmade, obviously. All right, I'm going to measure it because I do not remember how long this is. So it's about, I would say six and three quarter inches. So, isn't that cute? That makes me think of the 70s. 
don't know, I think it's really cute. So if anyone wants this one, I will say five because I like it. And I will actually wear that, believe it or not, if somebody doesn't want it. In the summer, if I go to the beach or something like that, I just think it's so cute. It's just happy. All right. Uh, what else? Okay. Here's a large black pendant. And I need to test this one again. I tested it before. I just want to make sure I'm right. Okay. So this is testing as glass. And that's huge. That's at least three inches. I'm going to measure it. Or maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. No, it's two and a half. It looked bigger. So two and a half inches. And it has this... Well, it was supposed to be... Well, it looks silver there. That's weird. Okay, it looked like gold toned to me. But some of the tone has come out. Or worn off, so... There it is. For some reason, though, it doesn't look bad. It might look bad through my camera, but in reality, when you're looking at it up close, it doesn't look like anything's wrong. I know that sounds strange, but it really doesn't. So there it is. That is a neat one. Okay, then I have this bracelet. It has one of those leaves that a lot of people um, associate with, well, I associate with yoga. I'm not sure though. I'm gonna check these stones. And they are They are glass. <laughs> and it has a tassel. Do you want a stretch bracelet with glass black beads that are faceted and a tassel and a yoga leaf? There it is. Two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars for you, you, you. All right, I stopped the video to put the flower bracelet on. See how cute? You have to admit. Look at that. Okay, I'll move along. I'll move along. So, these are kind of neat, but they're missing posts. And I will have to see if I have some. I'm sure I do. I have a ton of jewelry here. I just put a lot of craft jewelry on eBay. And I probably should have taken some out of that. But these are kind of neat. And it's just uh, acrylic. Or lucite. I'm not sure. Kind of a pretty green though. It's like a seafoam green. Very cute. Anyway, if you guys want these, someone can have them and I'll put posts on them and I will say, I will say, I will say $3 today, $3 for these lovely green earrings, $3, $3. And I will put some posts on them. So think about it. They need a home. All right. What is next here? Ooh. These are really neat. 
Very, very neat. I don't know why there's a little dot back there. A little hole. But it's probably on both. I don't know. So anyway, I already looked at these. And I forgot to put them in the video initially. But now I am. And these are 14 karat gold filled. You can see it on the post, but it's upside down. So, they're 14 karat gold filled posts. And I have to check these stones again. I'll tell you what they are. Okay. So, they're registering as glass. Now, this might sound really stupid, but can onyx or another black stone register as glass and not be glass? Does anyone know? Because I have to investigate that because I just don't know for real. But I've seen earrings like this online sell for decent money. I mean, not a ton ton, but not cheap. So I don't know. I need to research that more because I don't know. And in that way right now, I'm jewelry challenged because I don't know. So I will have to, you know, research it. Okay, here's one. This is neat. This is a black cross. I like the design. And look at these stones. They look really pretty to me. And look how multifaceted they are. They're like a champagne uh, color, not tone, color, with a little bit of peach mixed in. So it's like a peach champagne, if you can picture it. Isn't that pretty? Anyway, so I don't know if these are rhinestones or possibly crystals, so look closely. I know if there is uh, like foil inside at the bottom, then they're rhinestones, but sometimes it's hard to tell. And I know that typically with crystals, the backs will be open. But these are registering in the glass range. So they could possibly be crystals. And it's sad because one little stone is missing, but maybe I'll find one like it. I don't know. I was hoping it was in the bag, but I didn't see it. So here's the back. It's not signed anywhere. And these beads are just plastic. So this part doesn't seem so great. But the cross is really neat. I don't know, is this supposed to be like some type of rosary or something? Because of the beads? I really don't know. I do like the cross though, I have to admit. And if anyone wants that, even with the missing stone, I'm gonna say five. Like I said, I'll look and see if I have one somewhere. Okay. All right, these earrings are kind of cool. So they have this like um, resin material and it's a champagne color again. And the backs are reflective somewhat and a silver tone. So the metal looks nice. I didn't see any mark on these or any like design or name or anything. Oh wait, does it say something there? It looks like there's something on the post, but 
it could just be a scratch. So I'm gonna look real quick if I can find my loop. Hold on guys. I just can't tell. Yeah, I don't think anything's written on these, but they really are cute, I think. There are teardrops, and they are about an inch. They look nice when the light hits them. Kind of shimmery. So they're really pretty, I think. I don't know. Let me know if you like them. I'm not sure about a price. Okay. Then I have these. And I'm assuming these are some type of, um, well, they're some type of plastic, but I'm thinking maybe resin. And look at the back. So the back is black. The front is green and some black these are kind of pretty very unusual very unique they're like big green tropical leaves jungle leaves rainforest leaves maybe they're kind of fun it's funny though one of them looks darker than the other That's different. No, I didn't notice that before. Huh. Anyway, if you like these, I can do them for, I would say, $3. And they're about two and a half inches. All right, what do we have next? Let's see. Oh, I'll show you this necklace. This is neat. Okay. So believe it or not, there is a price tag on here of $30. So this has a gold tone chain, but look at these pieces. They're faceted, so you have like a taupe color and a cream color. It has a little bit of a yellow undertone, but not too much. And I have no idea, I see $30. I have no idea of the brand. There is no maker's mark on here, and I can't peel this sticker off. I tried, but it just ripped the paper. And then it has this little heart on the end. But if you look at the back, these pieces have little squigglies. They look like S's. And I've seen statement necklaces like this before with the S's on the back. And they're usually pretty nice. So I don't know. If anyone knows who uses that design on the back of their um, necklaces. But it's kind of cool. I'll tell you how long it is. I just can't believe that was $30 new. And it hasn't been worn because the tag is still on it. Okay, it's about 20 inches. So here's the chain. The chain looks good. And here are the pieces. And they look pretty good too, see? Just a little bit dirty. Not bad, I just have to wipe it off. Isn't that neat? So anyway, I would say 15 on that. These pieces are really thick. They're like 
they're like flagstones. All right, so there's that. And what have I not shown you yet? Uh, this one. Okay, this is a beauty. I love this stretch bracelet, guys. Look at that blue color. This is kind of like a periwinkle blue. If you guys know what periwinkle looks like, I actually looked up the color periwinkle online, and there was a website that showed different shades, and one of the shades was electric periwinkle, and it was identical to this color. So that is the color. And it has these silver toned um, beads that almost look like marcasite looks like. Or almost looks like what marcasite looks like, but in a silver color. Although I don't know, does marcasite come in silver? Every time I've seen it, it's been black. But these are testing as glass. So I'm thinking these could be crystals. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and these test in the jadeite range. But I looked on my gem app, I scanned this stone, and it was saying tanzanite. So I really don't know. I just think it's beautiful and I have to research it a little bit more. I just love that one. Here, I'll show you. It's big on me, but it's a beautiful color. Anyway, there it is. Okay guys, I had to pause the video for just a minute, but I wanted to revisit something. Well, two things. Okay, first of all, I said these were taupe. And they're not. Like, taupe is more brown. These look a little brown through my phone. But they're more like... Um, how should I describe this? Okay. Have you ever seen those shoes in the 70s that have really thick soles? And they looked like, they called them um, gum, gum soles. Okay. Well, there were different colors. Some were more brown and some were more this color. So, if you know those shoes, this is more like that. But it looks kind of green against these cream colored pieces. So I just thought I'd tell you that, not that it matters. I mean, you saw it, so you could get an idea just by looking at it, but I played this back real quick and I said taupe and it wasn't taupe. So I had to correct myself. And then these I said were um, resin, but I tested these again and these are testing as glass. So, I'm not sure about that. So that's a mystery. But I thought I needed to let you know. Okay. I'll show you this one. All right, so this is a um, pendant, not pendant. Oh, see? Okay, right about now, I would stop the video and start over. All right, so this is a brooch. And I'll tell you what this style is. Some people I'm sure already know. But this is called decoupage. And with decoupage, you take strips of paper and you cut them out into shapes and then put um, designs, not designs, but you know, color them. You color them, oh my gosh, see? I'm so terrible at describing things, guys, sometimes. Anyway, also, they are usually stenciled, so you can see these lines outlining the pieces of paper. 
and then a varnish is put over top the whole thing. So that's what that is. That's decoupage. And I am not sure who the artist was that made this one, but the back says chop mark designs. And I did read about one of their artists. I don't know anything about the company cause I couldn't find anything other than there was one artist that did some decoupage for this company. So, oh look, see that? That looks really similar to this. So it also looks like glue. So there you go. All right. So there's that. And this is my last piece. Well, pieces. All right. So this one is missing some beads, but I had them in a container. There were more beads on here. So I put those in a container. And what I'm thinking is that these could be coral. I don't know why it's so blurry right now. All right, can you see the lines? Why is this blurry? This should not be blurry. Okay, do you see those lines? So there are lines on these. They're hard to see through the phone. And these are cold to the touch. Now, I have seen beads like this before that were listed as glass. But see those ridges? Okay, so um, I don't know for sure, but these are testing on the far end of glass and almost past glass. Like at the very, very edge. So I'm thinking these might be coral. If anyone knows, share your insight. I did read about these though, and someone um, described them as Sherpa beads. So in the Himalayas, you know, there are the Sherpa and there are people. <laughs> well, the Sherpa. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know when people climb Mount Everest? The guys that go up with them, they carry all their stuff. They call them Sherpas. So, anyway. I don't know what I'm saying, but these were described as Sherpa beads. Not sure exactly why, unless they had these over in the Himalayas. Or at Mount Everest. I don't know. Here's the other one. And then this one. So, I've seen these online before. I saw a necklace with beads that looked identical to these. And it was over $100. So, I don't know. Maybe somebody knows something about these. And if you do, you can leave me a comment. They're pretty neat. They look very old. All right, guys. I think that'll do it. Oh, wait. I do have these. I don't know if I showed these in one of the previous videos. I can't remember because I recorded this like three times. And... Then I thought, well, maybe I pulled this out of lot 24. So I, I don't know. But these are just plastic. Listen. 
but they're clip-ons. They're really cute. And they're faceted. And they have AB beads. They're really cute. They're not glass or anything. But look how pretty they are. So if anybody likes those, you know what, I can use that as my thumbnail. Look, and you can see the little guy on the joke box. Wait, watch. Right through there. That's what I'll do. Hold on, I need to get it clearer. Okay. Oh, no, wait. Now the guy's blurry. Okay. Uh, or I could do that. All right, right there. That could be my thumbnail. Okay, so if anyone wants these, I will say... Oh, I dropped it. Hold on. All right, I'm saying... Five bucks. Five bucks. Because they're really cool. Five bucks. And now I can't find the other one, but it's here somewhere. Alright, guys. I guess that's it. And I know I said things wrong. I know I, I don't, like, articulate myself very well at times. But it is what it is. And when I'm recording myself... It's not always great. So I hope you liked it. If you see anything you like, send me an email. I forgot to put my little paper out. Here it is. Wayoutfarmforwardale.com. I'll put it right by my mug there. And I hope you like the video. Um, there are a bunch of pieces I still have to research. Oh, I got this at the bins. That's cute. It has something on it. Ugh. He's up. Wait. Let me get it. Okay. So there it is. Little cat. It was in a package, but the face looks a little darkened. Looks pretty old. I wouldn't say old, old, but isn't that cute? So it's like country cottage. Country cottage core. Here it is. Little cat. All right, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else? I feel like I should continue recording, but I don't have anything to show you. I mean, I have lots to show you. But, I don't have anything laying on the table. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm looking. I feel like showing you something else real quick. Let's see what I got. I'm gonna see what I got, see what I got. What do I have? What do I have? I have a big box of stuff here. Um bear with me. This is a stone. Okay, this is a real stone. And I'm not sure what stone it is. So, I probably shouldn't have shown you that, but I have to research this. I don't know if you remember seeing this in one of my lots. It's kind of neat, though. Alright, guys, I guess I will. Hang it up for tonight. Oh, wait, one more thing. Okay, this was in a previous lot not too long ago. Hold on, I'm going to test it again. Okay, this tests in the glass range, but look how pretty this is. 
but it has this V and somebody has to know what that stands for. Or is it another letter or is it a C? Maybe it's a C or maybe it's a T. So I don't know, here's the back. But I thought that was cute. Thread. All right, I guess I'll stop. So thanks for watching and come back again for another installment of Coffee, Jewelry, and Jokes. And hopefully I can record some other videos with jewelry I have here before I get the next two lots. I should get them maybe by the weekend because I just got them tonight and I have to pay. And then it depends on where they're coming from. Sometimes it takes them a while. All right, guys. Have a good day or night whenever you're watching. See you, bye.